The Logitech G Pro X Superlite is commonly referred to as the do-it-all mouse, but the most versatile mouse I have used is this medium ergo. When I fingertip the G Pro X Superlite, I find that the size of the hump and the placement of the hump is just too high and I don't get quite the right range of motion that I'd like. I also feel like it's only really possible for me to fingertip grip the G Pro X Superlite because my hands are quite large coming in at 21 and a half by 10 and a half centimeters. When I claw grip the G Pro, I don't get any solid anchor points on the right hand side. And when I use palm grip with the G Pro X Superlite, I find that I end up with this weird sensation or style where my thumb and palm are kind of pincering the mouse. And over time, this causes me some level of fatigue. It's not a massive issue for me because I'm not a big palm grip user, but that's how it feels when I palm the G Pro X Superlite. My hand kind of just slips down the right hand side of the mouse. With the X Lite V2, all of these issues disappear for me. And if you're not interested in the X Lite V2 series, stick around to later in the video, maybe use the bookmarks because we'll talk about Pulsar's lineup coming later this year, which is really, really exciting. I want to say a big thank you to Pulsar for sending me the X Lite V2 Medium and the associated template Super Grip Pack to come along with it. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for sending me that free kit. You're the first person to do it. I also have the X Lite V2 Mini here, and I've installed the Pulsar Super Grips on it again. I purchased those products with my own money and I hope that goes some way to show you how much I've enjoyed using these products. It's been really fun for me testing both of the different available sizes. If you enjoy this video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I also hope to chat to you more down in the comments below. My experience with the X Lite V2 series of mice is that they both feel really good to use, particularly when you have the super grips installed. We'll talk more about the Super Grips in a later video because they're good enough that they deserve their own spotlight. The Mini is my preferred mouse for fingertip grip because it's overall much smaller and it provides a lot of more mobility, maneuverability and range of motion in your hand. The Mini is also a really good size for those of you that enjoy using a hybrid fingertip or claw grip. If you find yourself using a lot of fingertip motion in your claw, and you don't really lock the mouse into the base of your palm, you know, maybe resting a knuckle on the top of the hump too, the Mini is a really solid recommendation. If, however, you are a palm user or a more strict claw grip enjoyer, the X Lite V2 Medium is a very good option. And with my hand size, I find I have some overhang with my fingers in palm, but not so much that I'm touching the pad with my fingers. My claw on the X Lite V2 Medium also feels really nice, and I find that the ergo shape on the right hand side lends itself perfectly to my pinky's natural resting position. I'm not much of a palm user myself, as I prefer to use fingertip grip, and palm is as far removed from fingertip as it's possible to be, but I have played around with palm a bit on the X Lite V2 Medium, and I found that my aim training scores were actually quite good, honestly, and if I was playing only tactical shooters, I'd probably give palm grip more of a chance with this mouse. The X Lite V2 series of mice offer a really good balance in terms of weight. They're not too heavy, they're not too light, and they offer really good weight balancing. It's as good as any mouse I've ever used. Overall, it's been really fun to use these mice. I've put the X Lite V2 Mini in my main three rotation now, alongside the HSK Pro and the HTX Ace. So who would I recommend buys the X Lite V2? I'd suggest if you can't find a comfortable grip with your current mouse, then you're quite likely to find a comfortable grip with the X-Lite V2. It's the only mouse in my collection that I can claw, I can palm and fingertip. And that's specifically the X-Lite V2 Medium. It's also a really fair price coming in at £75 in the UK. And for the performance, the shape and the adaptability and versatility of the mouse, I feel like that's a really fair price for what you're getting. All of that being said, the X Lite V2 series of mice are somewhat old news because it was released last year. But Pulsar are releasing some really exciting new mice this year. And I want to talk about that lineup with you now. I've linked the relevant tweet below. The new X Lite lineup will feature the 3395 sensor, optical switches, and will come in three different sizes small, medium, and large. There hasn't been a large X Lite before, and I'm very excited for this. There won't be any holes in the shell either, which doesn't bother me so much, but I'm certain the community will appreciate this change. 
Personally, I'm currently fighting the urge to buy a Zowie EC1, and I'm very happy to hear that Pulsar are providing that extra size option in this year's lineup. To say I'm excited is an understatement. There's also going to be two different styles of X2 this year. The X2H will have two sizes, both medium and mini, and it will feature a narrower waist and a higher hump. I'm personally quite interested to see how this shape compares to my G-Wolf's HTX. I suspect it will be very similar where my fingers make contact, but will be a lot taller in the hump. So I'm interested to see how that performs in fingertip grip. Pulsar are also delivering on an X2A or Ambi and they're looking to include left-handed gamers with this one by providing buttons on both sides. This is a more traditional X2 shape and I'm therefore not quite as interested in this one personally but it will be coming in both medium and mini sizes. I'm sure many of you will be excited to further expand your already saturated X2 collections with the updated specs offered here. Finally, Pulsar are also releasing an ES series of mice designed with eSports in mind. These variations of mice will have an OLED screen on the bottom to show you your battery levels, the DPI in use and the polling rate that you've got it set to. This is super unique and Pulsar are really paving the way here with their innovative approach, which you love to see. There appears to be less options for sizes in the eSports lineup but we'll have an X-Lite V3 1.5, so it will be somewhere in between the X-Lite V2 mini and medium size, which is more aligned with the Zowie EC3 shape. And I believe the X2 Ambi and the X2 H eSports series will be only sold in medium sizes. The entire eSports lineup will be capable of 4K polling rate when wireless and up to 8K polling with the wire in place, which is really impressive. It's also very exciting for those of you that want to squeeze out every possible advantage you can out of your peripherals. I cannot tell you how excited I am for Pulsar to release these mice later this year. And if the support on the channel continues as it has been, thank you so much for that, by the way. Then I'll plan to pick up one of each of these mice to review and compare in a big roundup video later in the year. Thank you once again for tuning in. I appreciate you all more than you know. Okay, thank you. Bye.